Hi, this is Dan Glozik from the Jazz Development Team. I will show you what is new in Rational Team Concept 2.0 Web User Interface. When we set out to enhance Web UI in 2.0, we had two goals in mind. Eliminate the gaps between the Eclipse client and Web client, and support the new features introduced in this release. As a result, many things that were previously possible only in Eclipse UI are now available via the browser. At the same time, there is more to do in the Web UI because new features were added to the server side of the product. The new features added to the RTC Web UI are sweeping in nature. I will now walk you through some of the most interesting ones. I will focus on the major features. A complete list can be found in the new and noteworthy document accompanying the release. The Web UI for work items has been improved in numerous ways. The improvements are related to editing in place, working with the work items in a batch, better support for relationships, etc. Let me demo some of them. When you run a work items query and get a list of results, an in-place editor is now available to edit the work items without leaving the list. The editor is inserted in place of the work item allowing you to modify it. Clicking on the X symbol in the upper right closes the editor. It is now possible to work on multiple work items in bulk. To do so, activate the bulk mode from the action bar area in the upper right. The bulk mode allows you to select work items that show should be affected by the operation and provides the interface to select the actual operation. In repositories in multiple project areas, you can move or copy the work item between the areas using the new action in the action bar. The action opens a dialog allowing you to configure the operation. Similar to relationships between work items, you can now add related artifacts in the links page. The new action opens the dialog allowing you to provide the URL of the resource and a comment. Through the newly added user profile editor, it is now possible to configure work item mail notifications directly in the web UI. There have been many improvements to the Agile planning web UI. Most of them are designed to make it possible to work with plans exclusively in the browser. Similar to Work Items Web UI, you can now edit a work item in a plan using an in-place editor by selecting a pan icon that shows up on hover. When you're done changing the work item, close the editor using the X symbol in the upper right corner. New in Tor is also the ability to organize your plan by dragging and dropping the plan items directly in the Web UI. This new feature takes advantage of drag and drop support in the Jest Foundation. You are not limited to the previously created plans either. A new button in the left nav area allows you to create a new plan. Once created, the structure and attributes of the plan can be modified by putting the plan into the edit mode. Once you do it, you either move the item via drag and drop or invoke equivalent actions from the drop down menu for the item. You can also add new plan pages with freeform content using the wiki formatting. There is more you can do with individual plan modes. You can now highlight work items in plans that match customizable criteria. This lets you draw attention to important items or ones requiring special attention. You can do that in the Colorize tab. Similarly, you can configure which columns to see per plan mode in the View Layout tab. Similar to work items, Plans Web UI now takes advantage of the user profile editor by extending it and adding two tabs, Work Environment and Schedule Absences. Rational Team Concept dashboards were always a great example of what a polished Ajax Web UI can do. And in Release 2.0, they continue to push the envelope. New Flash-based chart engine, support for sharing and copying, and the improved look and feel are some of the new features in dashboards. Charting engine in Tua dashboards has been rewritten. It is now using Flash, has a number of transitional animations, and is overall more polished.
new into are horizontal bar charts that scale better and are easier for quick visual comparison. Viewlet scope has been reworked and is now integrated with preferences. It no longer has its own tab in the settings area. Viewlets can now be configured to show results from project areas different than the dashboard's own. It is now possible to create a hybrid dashboard with results coming from several projects within the same repository. Personal dashboards can now be shared either with a single project or with everybody within the repository. Dashboard Viewlet trims have been refreshed and are now more polished. Editing the dashboards is now easier thanks to the ability to copy and paste viewlets and even entire tabs. A key component for monitoring project health in RTC, Reports Web UI for Parameters has been completely redesigned. The new UI is now more functional and visually matches the rest of the RTC Web UI. The new Reports parameters are fully reused in the Trend Reports viewlets in the dashboard, ensuring consistent user experience. As part of the effort to make more things possible in the Web UI in 2.0, a lot can be done in the day-to-day -day management of the Jazz repository and process configuration. Permissions, linking, role management, template editing, as well as license key and server-to-server -server configuration are among the tasks for which you only need a browser in 2.0. Administrators can now configure both process permissions and access control. Read permissions are new in 2.0 and are readily available in the web UI. There is now much more control over process templates and their deployment. A new top-level page called Process Template Management lists currently configured templates that can be deployed. New templates can also be imported into the repository through the web UI. One of the most radical improvements in Rational Team Construct 2.0 when it comes to web UI is in the area of builds. A fully reworked build web UI is much more powerful and offers level control and functionality that was only possible in the Eclipse client in the previous version. You can now request builds, examine build results, and monitor the build queue. It is now easy to browse build definitions and request a build from the build web UI. You can then monitor the execution in the build queue. When the build completes, you can examine the results and all the details related to the build execution that were only accessible through the Eclipse client in the previous version. In conclusion, Rational Team Concert 2.0 Web UI has been greatly enhanced. You can do more with the web browser as your only client. The rich Ajax-based web UI of Rational Team Concert 2.0 continues to push the limit of what a modern browser can do when coupled with a Jazz server and its wealth of REST services. You can find much more about this by visiting our website at jazz.net. Thank you.